Awesome. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Daniel Linsky. I'm one of the co-founders of Status Page. And I'm uh, going to be chatting a little bit about our uh, upcoming updates to uh, the HipChat uh, integration. Um, so in case you haven't seen the product before, uh, Bitbucket, HipChat, Atlassian uh, are already customers. And so here's a Bitbucket status page with us. Uh, they use this to communicate uh, with users and with customers around downtime and schedule maintenance. Uh, so the good thing is Atlassian is not our only customer. Uh, we're growing pretty fast and uh, have actually a pretty significant overlap with Atlassian customers. So uh, these are you know, companies like Netflix, companies like Intuit, Twilio, really across every, every industry. And so you know, these are the people and these are the companies that we're going to be building um, you know, the updates for the new HipChat integration for. Uh, so let me let me go ahead and jump into this quickly. Cool. So, you know, here's an example of our current integration. It's pretty simple. We're basically piping status page updates straight into HipChat. And so here's one from Scott. Created an incident, got sent into HipChat, and it gets the job done, right? You know, uh, you've got your you've got your information there. Uh, if you're currently in the room, uh, you've you've seen that that uh, update. Maybe you're talking about it, but the problem is, you know, what if I'm a customer support manager and I want to update my, you know, my customers about this incident, and I am just late to the party, and I come in, you know, two hours um, after the initial update gets gets pushed in, I'm just sort of lost, right? I have to scroll up through all of my HipChat uh, updates. Uh, maybe I just sort of like ping somebody directly in HipChat just to figure out sort of like well, what's the current status and, and do we need to update our customers around this? So for now, this is the pain point that, that we want to solve for um, and sort of figure out a solution for, for some of these customers. So let's jump in uh, to a, a quick demo here. Cool. Uh, so you can imagine that I say I'm a customer support specialist um, and I'm, I'm logging into HipChat. Maybe I'm in Australia or I'm in the US in a different office. Oh, there we go. Uh, and there, there, there's an incident going on, but you know, previously I just, I just don't know what's happening. Uh, so one of the first things that we've built is the integration with the new Glance. So you're seeing status page, major outage. So immediately I say, okay, uh, I, I understand that there's something going on here and I want some more information about it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that Glance view. Uh, and that's going to bring up our incident on our public status page. So, you know, if this was Bitbucket living within HipChat, this would be a Bitbucket incident uh, right within HipChat. And so I'm going to go ahead and show that full history so I can get the full context of what's going on with that incident. Previously, I would need to go back to the status page. I would need to message somebody else on the team to figure this out. It's going to be right there for me to get all the information and really context I need at my fingertips. Um, so the cool thing about this is, again, pretend I'm, I'm two hours late to the party, um, and I, and I you know, need to know if we need to sort of update our customers about what's going on with this login issue um, currently. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, this new endpoint that HipChat has opened up through Connect uh, for discussing a card. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this right back into HipChat if this works. Um, and I, and I want to talk to Tyler and figure out, hey, sh should we be updating our customers around this? So, you know, maybe I'll say, you know, hey, Tyler, um, uh, you know, uh, it's been it's been a couple of hours since we last uh, updated our users. What's the latest here? All right, and we're going to get a, a cat gift back. Uh, <laughs> do, we, do we have an actual update? OK, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we pushed a small update a couple hours ago. Uh, we've been monitoring on our end. Um, haven't seen any aggression since the deployment. Great. Um, cool. Um, good to update our users. Awesome. So uh, 
the, the one thing that we haven't built yet, which we will be integrating with, is the message action. So right here, we will have a update status page, and that is something that Dave showed as well uh, on the PagerDuty card and on the New Relic card. Uh, I think that may be an another integration point. Um, but right now, let's go ahead and pop back into status page, give a, a nice monitoring update for this login issue. So uh, you know, our engineers have fixed the issue, and users should be able to log in. Uh, we'll monitor for um, any any issues. It's probably going to be formatted a little bit better than that, but we'll go ahead and use that. Cool. So, um, oops, didn't mean to refresh that. Update gets piped right back into HipChat. Um, we'll go ahead and, and we're going to use some some of that data and get some metadata in here. So you're going to see status monitoring impact major. Uh, so this was a, a an impactful incident. Um, that was updated, oh, that's a bug by Tyler, even though that was updated by me. Uh, and again, that's going to pipe uh, that information right into that history for that incident. Uh, so all of, your contacts, right, all of your contacts right there for you, and it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, this is what we have for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be cleaning this up, uh, making it a little bit, a little bit prettier, uh, a little bit easier to use. Uh, if you're an end user, uh, but we're also, you know, excited about what what sort of the the future holds. Um, just if we if we look to expand the HipChat integration, you could you could think about a HipChat user that, you know, uses a uses a multitude of of applications to make their own product run, right? Maybe you use AWS for hosting. Maybe you use Twilio for text messaging. Maybe you use Mailgun for for sending email. Uh, and, and we have that information to actually give to HipChat users. So you can imagine one day where somebody installs a status page add-on, and they could even select all the external services that they use. Uh, so here's an example update. If you're using Mailgun to send email, a status change alert where you know, maybe Mailgun's having some email deliverability issues, your app depends on it, you want to communicate around it. So right in the glance view, um, what we're looking forward to is having something like this where you've got the list of your full services, and we're bringing the whole sort of API ecosystem and, and service ecosystem right into HipChat. Uh, so that's what we're excited about, and there's going to be more to come soon. Stay tuned. Uh, feel free to email me, too, if you have any questions or feedback. Uh, it's just Danny at Status Page. Thanks.